So class, this is the fifth installment in the complex um, object construction. I'm going to go through the uh, left side cylinder for you. Um, a couple things that um, I've added here that you do not have in your drawing right now. I have bumped out um, a plane in front of the uh, bottom cube only because I felt like my cylinder was going to be too short. Um, so I extended this out past the front of the cube. So take your, if you want to do this, you don't have to do this, but I felt like my cylinder was too small. I extended this edge forward. This edge goes to the left vanishing point. I extended this edge forward from the left vanishing point, and I extended this edge forward. And then I drop my vertical, find my vertices where the vertical meets the left edge going to the left vanishing point, and then take this edge to the right vanishing point. That'll give me um, a little bit of a sliver of a plane coming forward, and that's why that's there. I just needed more space. Um, and then from there, in the front section of my cube, so here is my rectangle I'm working with right here. It's very light, and you do kind of want to keep these things light. Okay? And then I'm going to embed my X finding center in the front plane and in the back plane. And then I'm going to find my plus sign, plus sign to build my circles on and erase the information. So I'm gonna let this play um, and then I'm gonna come back and describe. So I'm sort of emphasizing the long rectangle I'm working with. X find center with blue. There's my plus moving to the right side vanishing point. The vertical is just vertical. And then I'm delineating that ellipse on the plus, on the front and the back. You need the front and the back in order to know where to connect the cylinder. So there I just connected the outermost edge. And then all you have to do is erase. Just erase what's left over um, and you have that cylinder sitting in in its proper location adjacent to the L and coming forward perpendicular in the space. Okay, so I'll let it go back again. Just kind of slow down. So remember the first thing you want to do is just make the form that you're working in more apparent. So all I did was delineate the rectangle or the cube that the cylinder sits in. And if you need to think about it, you guys, this is, you've already done this project four times. All this is is a can sitting on its side. So instead of the packaging sitting upright, it's sitting on its side. Nothing has changed. It's exactly the same math. It's just that your faces that you're building your circles in are, are lying down. It's the only change, okay? So the same, find your, your face and find X to find center. That way you can build your plus sign. Now the only difference with this is that I usually described in a four pack that the plus arms move to the vanishing point. But in this case, it's lying on its side. So the plus right here is a vertical move. It's just straight up and down vertical. And by the way, this is a great cheap cheat I've created. Um, if you are very careful with your tape and you lie your tape down on the edge of your Bristol board perfectly, and this only works with a manufactured piece of paper because it's straight, and then you build that tape edge up with two or three layers of tape, it'll actually give you a ledge to put your triangle on. Now this only works if you're careful and that tape is actually um, parallel to the edge, but it's kind of a nice thing that you can do um, in, in order to skip a T-square. Um, so that might help you guys. So I'm just lying my, my plus in, okay? 
I'm drawing my plus right there and there. And then I'll go to the back side, the other side of the can, we'll say. And I'm going back and finding the plus that moves to the right vanishing point. Okay, so only one of the arms moves to the vanishing point, the other is vertical. That just gives you uh, something to arc on. So you can arc on all sides lightly, arc, arc. And then notice that I take my time and build my ellipses slowly, okay? And then I darken and erase what I no longer need. Take your time on your ellipses and really get them looking good. And then once you have the front and back, all you're doing is connecting the outermost edge. So you're finding the outermost edge here and going back to the vanishing point where it hits and intersects the back edge of the um, the back ellipse and you do that on both sides right there's the other and then all of this information is no longer necessary you can erase it and there you go you've got a cylinder sitting in its proper space and the thing that will really make this look accurate is when you get that value going here okay all right